Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae, and today it's Tombow swatching time. So grab your Tombows, grab a marker, and let's go ahead and swatch together. So in this, this is my Hobonichi cousin. And I am still very unfamiliar with this paper and what it looks like with different colors on it and, you know, things of that nature. So I decided that I would go ahead and there aren't very many notes pages in the back anyway. So I might as well use this functionally. Right now, my other notes pages, I have this movies to watch and this books to read sticker. So I feel, felt like on the back, oh, and then I also did like a pen swatch test page. So, but literally that's like the majority of the note pages back here. So I'm like, it's not actually functional for real life notes. So why not do a swatch page? Now I do have this one that comes, I think directly from the, uh, let's see, it says LJ Knight art.com so i'm assuming that's where i got this chart and i do keep it inside my tombow container and i don't remember where i purchased this but it's actually pretty cool let me show you if you haven't seen it but it actually just kind of folds up into one little accordion thing and then because i am me i went ahead and numbered each one of my markers to correspond with this particular paper not number the marker, sorry, number the spots to correspond with that particular paper so that when I'm looking for something, it'll be easier to find. So right now I want to, let me make sure I'm back in frame. Okay, right now I want to do this in the cousin and then I'm going to have to find a sheet in the weeks to do it because I know the weeks is a different color paper. So obviously colors are going to look a little bit different if they're in a different color paper. So let's see, the first one we have here is zero to six. So we'll just put that there. Zero to six is number, step one. Remember which number you got it from. Zero five five. Then we have this one, zero six two. Not even sure if you guys can see that one. And then 133. I do not have, well, what I would consider a ton of Tombos, but I'm I'm good with the collection that I have so far. What number is this? Oh, that's in the wrong spot. 346 should be a number. 26. Okay, I'm like, that does not go there. All right, so 173, aka number 14, <laughs> and 243, which is for me, number 19. And then I have 245. Getting into the darker green. This is 346. Ooh, that's pretty. Apparently I don't use this one that much. But like, just quick comparison. Here is 346 on this paper and here it is on this paper. So it is noticeably different. Same with 245. Like. It's noticeably different. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this because I know that, well, I've already learned that this paper is just different. So everything looks a little, a little lighter or a little brighter and I love it. So that's 373. 
Then we're getting into more of the blues with 451, which is again, barely visible. We have 452. Four seventy six. I'm not sure who numbered these either, but I'm sure there was a reason for the scattered numbers. But it's weird to me. <laughs> and then we have. I don't. This is not in the right spot either. Where does seven fifty five go? Sixty one. All right. So then we have four ninety three. That's pretty. Five fifty-three. I do think I heard as well that on jet pins you can find these markers individually. This is five sixty-five. So at some point I'm going to look into that because although the you know buying the sets is nice. I find that because I've just gotten so many sets, A, I don't remember which sets I've already bought, and B, some of the colors start to repeat after a while. So I'm almost thinking the individual might be a better choice unless I can figure out which sets I already have. <laughs> 636. Oh, that's a dark one. Six sixty five. Some of the colors I'm like, ooh, I like this better <laughs> on this cardstock than I do in the book. And then some of them, like this one. I will probably replace this, get replaced. This must be an older one, but the tip is all like yuck. So this one must be pretty old. Or is one that I use frequently. 723. Seven forty-three. I'm really proud of myself for numbering this right too, y'all. It was a little touch and go for a little bit. <laughs> Seven fifty-five. That's pretty. It doesn't at all look like the lid. Interesting, because the lid is like very red to me, but that is extremely pink. Hmm. 63 is 761. 67 is 815. Again, the lid color to me does not match the marker color. 72 for me is 847. All right. Then 73, we're getting into this flesh color. 850 which I don't even think you guys can see that. I literally can barely see it. And I'm sitting right here. 879 is like a basic brown. Doesn't look like it, but that's what it says. What number is that? 76. 77. Number 885. Warm red does not look red to me. 
nine, ten. Barely visible. Nine twenty five. Mm, I like that. Nine thirty three. In fifteen, in twenty five. Another reason why I'm interested in this is because I don't use Tombow's nearly enough. And I'm like, what do you keep buying them for if you're not even going to use them? <laughs> so this way, I've taken them out of like where I've had them put away all this time. So they're more visible. And I'm going to try to figure out how to put them in to my re regular planning rotation just so that I use them even more. So this is in 60. In 65. This color right here reminds me of the kit from Mandy Lynn Plans. So I'm definitely going to have to remember in 60 and use that when I'm using that. So if you missed the subscription kit from Mandy Lynn Plans, the January kit, go check it out. Because this N60 is like, well, I think it's going to be perfect for that kit if you have it. So N65 is number 103. N75, barely visible, but it's almost like a platinum. What is this called? Cool gray? It almost looks like platinum in this book. And then we have N89, which again, you cannot see. <laughs> and N95, you probably cannot see because I can barely see it. So anyway, this is what this looks like. And it's, it is truly amazing to me how much differently this swatch looks compared to this one. So I'm super happy that I did this because I would have been going off of this and then the colors would not have matched properly at all. So I'm super happy I did this and I'm definitely going to do it in the Hobonichi Weeks because that paper is like yellow. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you also took the opportunity to swatch your markers if you have not already done so. And yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Be on the lookout for additional videos that I have coming up. Be kind, be safe, be well, and I'll see you soon.